so today I'm going to be doing my monthly favorites, my August favorites. We're now into September and I am so excited because fall is just my favorite time of the whole year. Um, I don't have to be, well it's not fall yet, it's fall is like September 22nd or whatever, but to me September means fall and personally I don't really like summer, like I hate summer clothes, so therefore I hate summer, like I hate wearing shorts, I hate sweating when I'm doing absolutely nothing, so I'm so excited for it to be September and I can wear cute like fall boots and clothes and blah. So anyways, I'm so happy that August is over, but I'm going to tell you what I was loving in the month of August. I don't have a ton of products, but I feel like I always say that and then next thing you know, this video is 25 minutes long. So I guess we'll just get right into it and first I'm going to talk about two face primers that I have been using and loving. The first I talked about in my most recent video, my conceal and clear up blemishes video. So um, if you haven't seen that, the link will be below and also at the end of this video. So anyways, um, the primer I mentioned in that is a mattifying face primer, which is particularly great for summertime. And um, if you have oily skin all year round, obviously this is going to be great for you. Um, but this is the Julep Blank Canvas Mattifying Face Primer. It works amazing if you have oily skin um, and it has um, a lot of all natural ingredients in there so it's good for your skin as well. So if you're looking for a mattifying face primer I would definitely recommend this one. Um, it comes out in like a lotion kind of and it feels a little bit sticky at first but once it dries down um, it really just kind of makes your pores shrink and matten, mattens, mattifies your face. So I love that one. Another one that I love is um, specifically for minimizing your pores. Uh, this one is from City Cosmetics and this is the Pore Minimizing Primer. This one has um, that kind of silicone feel. The texture is similar to Benefits Professional, which I kind of prefer this texture because it makes me feel like my skin is getting really smooth. This one, um, not only is it a primer, it's also a treatment. So over time, um, your pores are going to reduce in size. And I feel like I kind of have noticed that. And also, I feel like this one has kind of like a blurring effect. It just kind of fills in any fine lines and wrinkles. And it's also supposed to diminish the appearance of the fine lines and wrinkles. And uh, that was the text message. Don't pay attention to that. Um, yeah, so I really love both of these primers. This one is better if you're trying to mattify your face. This one is great if you want to um, really focus on the size of your pores and you want to have a treatment as well. Um, next, I'm going to move on to a face product and again this was um, seen in my last video but I, I just love it and I use it daily. So yeah, this is the Maybelline Dream Pure BB Cream 8 in 1 Beauty Balm which it is a skin clearing perfecter it says and it has salicylic acid and it's supposed to clear up any um, acne that you have or kind of prevent it from happening and I feel like it does that and also it's just one of the best BB creams that I have tried. I, tried. I have the Smashbox one but I actually prefer this one. This The texture of this one it feels so lightweight on the skin and um, it does have pretty decent coverage so I really would recommend this BB cream over any of the ones that I've personally tried and it's from the drugstore so I mean definitely give it a try. It's 10 times better than the non blemish clearing one. I mean I don't have problems with my skin but I definitely prefer this one. So that's that. Next I'm going to be talking about a few eye products and um, first is an eyeshadow palette. Like, the one day I decide to have my ringer on is when I get text messages. That never happens. Nobody's ever texting me. So anyways, um, next is the Lorac Pro Palette number two. I love, it. I love the first one. And the theme of this kind of reminds me of how the Naked and Naked 2 palettes were. Um, the Naked 1 palette was more warm tones, and so was the first Lorac palette. And the second one of Naked 2 was kind of like cooler, rosier tones. And this one is kind of the same vibe. So this one, it's just 
I love, love, love these palettes because they have an equal amount of matte and shimmery shadows, which in my book is a must-have. If you have a palette, you need to have a lot of matte shadows to blend out these beautiful shimmery ones. So I absolutely love this palette so far. I'm wearing, um, the eyeshadow I'm wearing right now is all from this palette. I have rosé on my lid, light brown in the crease and uh, cocoa kind of in my outer V area and it's just there's so many combinations and I love that they have a, a navy blue and a plum in here and also um, this kind of army green shade like I and I don't know I just love this and I feel like this is like a fall palette when I see it because I see the um, kind of dark jewel tone colors it just reminds me of fall so um, definitely pick this up if you haven't um, and again the pigmentation and the creaminess of all these shadows are amazing just like the first palette so 100% would recommend getting this I know it's a little bit on the pricier side but you get a ton of eyeshadows and it's gonna last you a very long time absolutely love that next is a mascara and the funny thing about this mascara is that I have never like heard of this brand until like a few months ago and the brand is Arbonne, and I went to one of those parties. I actually ended up going to like four of the Arbonne parties. It's kind of like a Mary Kay kind of party where you like go and they talk about all their products and then at the end you buy stuff so whoever threw the party gets free stuff. So I ended up going like four of them because I have a very small like circle of friends so people wanted free stuff and then we just we were all just having the same party so I was reluctant to buy anything they have a lot of skincare stuff and I'm like meh I'm more of a makeup girl so obviously I go in and I buy this mascara and I think it retails for like $32 something like that and I was like oh, I can't believe I really did that because I'm more of a drugstore mascara girl and but you know what I got this and I absolutely love this mascara it's called it's a long story and it makes my eyelashes so much longer than they normally are. Right now I'm wearing fake eyelashes, so um, they're not, it's not this good that it makes them look like fake. But um, from day to day, I absolutely love it. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't flake. Um, it just makes my lashes look very nice and long and very black and somewhat volumized. But I absolutely love it. It doesn't make them feel spidery. And obviously I have it in the black shade because black are the better, right? And I think you can go on the Arbonne website and just order stuff. Or you can like host a party or something if you're into that kind of thing. But love, love, love this. And I like the name of it that it's called It's a Long Story. The next product is a blush. And you guys know I love blushes. And I used this in my in a recent Getting Ready With Me video. And this is from CoverGirl. I don't really own a lot of CoverGirl stuff. This is my only blush that I own from them. And I heard a lot about this. And I've seen it in a lot of like magazines of like must-haves from the drugstore. And it is their blush in the color Soft Mink, which it doesn't really look that great in the pan. But on the skin, it is so, so, so pretty. So I'll swatch it. And so it's right there. And it's a little bit lighter. It's a very um, subtle color, but it has a beautiful, beautiful, like, sheen to it, as you can see in there. So it gives kind of, like, an instant highlight to your cheeks. And it's just a really nice, soft, pretty, like, neutral pink. So I really like it. What I will say, though, is that this blush, and I don't know if it's all CoverGirl blushes or what, like, okay, the packaging it is, like, totally ugly, and, like, okay, this looks like absolutely nothing that I would be interested in. I mean, I don't know. I just don't like the packaging. But, that's besides the point, the smell of this smells like an 89-year-old woman. I feel like I stole this from a nursing home. It smells so perfumey and like an old person and I'm not trying to be mean to old people or senior citizens but this just smells like my grandma's house like I don't know cover girl what are you doing take that scent out blushes are not really supposed to have a smell and if they do have a smell don't make it smell like an old woman just a tip if you're watching cover girl I'm just giving a suggestion um so next are a few lip products and um, they're both, they're all nude, go figure, but that's just my style, nude. I'm just a fan of the nudes. <laughs> so, um, these first two are from Maybelline. This Maybelline lipstick is called Nude Lust, which is 
um, a lipstick that I'm wearing right now and it's just kind of a uh, a little bit lighter than my natural lip color, but it's just a nice brownie natural nude color. So I love that. have it on my lips now. And then I love to pair it with the color elixir from Maybelline. It's called Nude Illusion. And it's just like the perfect nude color. Again, um, these are a little bit darker of nudes and they definitely will not wash you out, which... I'm kind of getting away from the washing out nudes just because I feel like they just they don't really do a lot for me or my skin tone. So I love this one. It's just very creamy and I don't know, just very nice and natural looking lip. And I love the color elixirs because you can wear them by themselves too. Um, they're nice and pigmented and I think I'm just going to throw a little bit more on because I like it. Okay, and the next nude lip gloss, this one is from Whitening Lightning. I finally kind of caved in and decided to try these because everyone talks about them. And this one is in the shade Nude. And it's a gorgeous, gorgeous nude color. And as you can see, compared to the Maybelline one, this one is a little bit more on the pinky, peachy side. So they're all a little bit different. But they're all very pretty, pigmented, and I love them all. And that is it for makeup. I also wanted to talk about a candle. I got this a few weeks ago, two weeks ago, I think. And I know it's a little early for this, but I have been burning this nonstop since I got it. It's from Bath & Body Works. It's the Spiced Pumpkin Cider Candle. And obviously it smells like Spiced Pumpkin Cider. Um, so apple cider mixed with pumpkin. But... Not only does it smell great, but this is like the strongest scented candle that I have ever used in my entire life. I've used um, a lot of, I've tried a lot of the Bath & Body Works candles. Love them all, but this one is the strongest scent I've ever tried. It's the Three Wick. I put it in one room and my whole entire house, within like five minutes, instantly, the smell is just everywhere. And it smells so good. Even when I blow it out, the next day I'll like come back into my house like, Two days later, I can still smell the smell like in the air. Like it's just like amazing. I don't know if Bath and Body Works just like up their game, but this one, I haven't tried any of the other ones that I bought recently, but this one is seriously, I just am so impressed with like the strongness of the scent. Like I'm just obsessed with it. And I I know I'm gonna be out of this by the time like September 3rd, which is like tomorrow, like rolls around. Because I'm just I just love it and I just can't stop burning because it smells so good. Um, last but not least, I wanted to um, talk about a pair of sunglasses that I have been loving this month. Well, actually, two pairs of sunglasses. They're both from Old Navy. Old Navy is like my shit stuff. My <laughs> Old Navy is just like my favorite place right now. Between that and Express, like, that's where you'll find me. On, on any given day, <laughs> Express or Old Navy. The people who work there are probably like, what is wrong with you? Get out. But, um... I love their sunglasses. They just have the best sunglasses. And I lied. One of them is from Express. I, um, the first pair of these are from Old Navy. I just like these. They're kind of retro, the more round style. I really like them. I've worn these on Instagram. Got a lot of questions. They're smudgy as can be, but, you know, that's just my style. Uh, but I love that they have the gold on the edges, and they're just nice and cute and retro. And they're black, if you're wondering. And then these ones are tortoise shell print, and they're kind of retro, like vintage, kind of a bigger, but like kind of cat eye at the same time. And I absolutely love these ones too. These are from Express. And I don't know, I know summer's like coming to an end, but I love sunglasses all year round. So I'm just like a collector of sunglasses, and I just love both of these. And they just make me feel like a movie star, so... So yeah, that's everything that I have been loving in the month of August. Like I said, I'm so excited for it to be September and for it to be fall and drink pumpkin everything. Just be pumpkin out all day, all night. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.
90 degrees and that makes me so mad. Why is it 90 degrees? It's September. Turn it down. <laughs>